What's happening, party people? It's your boy, Crazy Crackhouse. Back at you with another cop. Today, I want to go over my top pickups from 23. And um, there's a lot of shoes in here that I actually didn't add. But these group of shoes that I want to go over today is basically who made the cut uh, to my likings. Uh, the first shoe I want to go over today is the absolutely worst pickup of the year and i think this is probably the worst shoe of the year and i'm gonna have to give that award um to travis scott air force one this is my worst impulse buy of 23 and i think this is probably the worst collab uh all time and i don't think anybody's gonna disagree with me uh these probably who knows when they'll go outside maybe this summer you know what i mean you never know uh, I got to get to wearing some of these shoes eventually. Uh, the next shoe, these shoes I'm doing, they're not in any type of order, but I'll tell you what I think of the shoe uh, as we hit them and, and what's the intrinsic value. Here I have here, and you know it came in the uh, Ziploc bag, and the shoe I have up here, it would be the Fear of God. Um, absolutely, uh, I think this shoe 100% uh, blew me away. Uh, the quality of this shoe, I, I, I had them on. Uh, the fit of them, will they stretch a little bit as you wear them? Um, in my personal opinion, this is going to be a lifestyle shoe for me. You know, when I just, you know, put on a nice sweatsuit or something like that, uh, this is not going to be an everyday beater or something like that. You know, they'll come out with the closet. Um, actually, the shoe, the white pair uh, dropped on Christmas and they sold out very fast. And the last time I looked at my size, they were looking at $750 for uh, size 11, which is not happening with me. I actually could have bought them on Christmas Day because they did sit for a while. The next shoe I want to go over um, on my list, and this, this shoe here, I think one day um, would be a very valuable shoe. I'm not selling it. I always say I'm not a reseller. Um, the shoes I show you are my shoes. Um in my personal, personal collection. And this is the JPEG. Um, this shoe here, the reason why, why I even put this shoe um, in my list is basically because it's a very, very limited shoe. Uh, they never went to stores. They never will go to stores. That drop was it. Uh, the only way you can obtain this shoe is probably through StockX or Gold or, you know, Flight Club, whoever you like to buy your shoe from. But hands down, this is a very clean Air Force One. Uh, the quality of leather on the shoe um, is superb. You know, you can see right there, you know, it's a very, very good shoe. That's why this shoe here even made it into the list that I'm, I'm building here. Um, the next shoe up, which I think um, was a very, very slept on shoe. Uh, we all know fives don't really, really... Um, go up in, in real, real high value, uh, or they sit. And one thing I want to say about this shoe that I'm going to go over today is the UNC5. Uh, the UNC5, I think, um, is, is very underrated. It, and it really didn't sit. There were some restocks of it, very minimal. Uh, but once this shoe is gone, I think it'll be a very uh, good shoe to have in your collection. Um, I actually haven't even tried them on, but they are mine. They are going to go outside. They'll make it out there one of these days. Uh, I'm going to get around to that too. I say that a lot, but I, I really mean it, you know, but keeping it real, you know, cause this is the really real channel. Uh, the next shoe up that I have here, uh, that I like to add into that mix, which I think was very slept on, uh, is the UNC OG one. Um, this shoe is a very, very well-made shoe. Uh, I wish they would have did the inner panels with a lot more um, tumble leather. You know, I think they use a lot, you know, as, as much as possible. Probably like the Gorge Greens. Uh, they have a beautiful, beautiful tumble leather on the inbox. But hands down, you know, you can look at all the vlogs and all the guys when they go to the mall. Hey, this shoe sitting, that shoe sitting. This shoe is really not sitting, not in big sizes. You know, every stock, uh, a lot of times in GS sizes, but as far as men, if you go from an eight and a half and up, you cannot actually get the shoe. The shoe is actually 
Um, you probably can't even get it now unless you go on StockX or Gold or buy it in the aftermarket. And I've never seen it really sitting on shelves. Uh, the next shoe I'm gonna go over that I added to the mix, this is a number two. The reason why I picked this shoe, um, undue to the price. You know, this is this shoe was probably $225. I think I, I went to one of the skate shops they were doing a huge, huge 50% discount. I think I got them for like $125. Um, but, you know, and I actually took an L on this shoe when it dropped. Uh, a, a couple of L's. But, you know, this is the responsibility too. And I added it because it's a very, very beautiful shoe. Right now, Snipes is one of the only stores that actually got uh, a variety of sizes in it, but you're paying retail. Uh, so with Snipes, you're probably going to be out the door 245, uh, 240, uh, unless you go into Snipes and they have them in there and you pick them up. I saw them restock them fully yesterday, but the construction of this shoe and the material um, on this shoe is crazy. These have been outside. I did wear them, um, you know, I think I wore them 4th of July or something like that. It might have been 4th of July, um, but I did wear them. Uh, it's a very, very good shoe. This is probably, um, in, in my best opinion, I think this is the two, the two low of the year, uh, of 23. I don't think it's a two, the only two, and we're going to go over that one too, is probably the, the closest tie to it as far as a two low. Very, very good material on this shoe. And I really love it. You know, I actually wore them. So, you know, I had to love them for some reason if I wore them. But I love all my shoes, but this shoe here is the shoe that I was just talking about. And um, this is the UNC2. Uh, I think this shoe was very, very much slept on. Um, I think there's not a lot of people who love twos, but next year they'll love twos, if you know what I'm saying. But this shoe is still sitting. If you go on undefeated.com, uh, they have a variety of sizes still left in stock and it's on sale. Uh, I think it'd be a very good pickup. They, you know, I haven't, of course, tried them on or nothing, but I know my size and you know what I mean? But uh, they haven't been outside and they'll get there. But I think that a lot of people slept on this shoe. And if you wanted this shoe or you had it on your mind, now's the time to just grab it since it's on sale and, you know, you can put it up. This is going to be a nice shoe uh, to pop out in in the summertime. This shoe here, um, this is probably, this is my Bayou. And I've been getting Bayou for a long time. And the thing with Bayou is Bayou used to be so great because when they gave it to you in EA, nobody else has it. Now it just sits around. You can just go on there and do whatever you want to do. But at that time, they had the best quality shoes you can ever, ever buy. Um, my last um, Bayou pickup, I made these Syracuses. They have been outside. I have wore them. Uh, you know, you get your personal name on the back of them. And I did do a review on these as well. So um, this is a very, very good shoe. And if you can see the leather um, that this shoe is made of, you know, this is like, if you're going to buy a dunk, and I see people buy dunks all the time, your best out is to go and buy you and create your own shoe. Because the the synthetic leather that you buy in these regular dunks, you're going to get premium leather um, when you do buy you. You may pay a little bit more. You might pay $30 or $40 more, but it's worth it. Uh, because buy you used to be, when I was originally getting buy you's, they were 130 So, you know, now you're paying like $175 for, for buy you. The next shoe I'm going to go over... We're gonna do this Soul Flight. Um, this shoe is an incredible shoe. The quality of leather on it, uh, suede and canvas, and you know the different patterns and how they set the shoe up is remarkable. Um, if this was a shoe you're on the fence with, this is a very limited shoe. Uh, you know, a lot of people just overlooked it or really didn't care. You know, I bypass, you know, myself to play off eights to freaking make that happen. And the next shoe I want to go over with, I think is a very slept on shoe. And 
these are the wash black or the wash gray uh, OG ones. Uh, I think this is an incredible shoe. Uh, they have not been outside, but um, I think it was very much left on. They quietly went away. Uh, there wasn't a lot of talk about these just sitting around all over the place. But if you were interested in this shoe or you missed it or you get an opportunity to get it on a discount, they feel very well. I'm an OG lover. Like I always say, I'm going to wear them till I drop dead. But at the same time, that's a fact. You know what I mean? It's a very good shoe. And I praise all of those. My uh, sleeper of the year in number fives uh, is going to go to this shoe here. Uh, this Craft 5, uh, I think, was an incredible shoe. I love how um, they changed all the reconstruction on it. Uh, the shoe changed all over the shoe. Uh, these have been outside. I did wear them uh, to an event. And the, the, the thing with me is that uh, with this shoe, it's just incredible, man. You know, um, the feel of it. And I, myself, and I don't care who argued with me or whatever, this is the five of the year. Uh, and this is the only five that didn't sit this year. Every single five that dropped this year basically sit or is worthless or way under retail. This shoe here did sell out. Uh, it's not sitting on shelves and blogs and... I think it's an incredible shoe. I, I, I'm very happy to have it, you know, and it's, it's like a lot of my shoes. I picked them based on that. And we all know what this one is. Um, this is the, the mocha or whatever everybody want to call it, the chocolate mocha. Uh, people talked about this shoe so much. Uh, but I think this shoe here would probably be worth more than the actual mocha itself. I think this is a much cleaner shoe. I think this is a much cleaner lifestyle shoe than the mocha because of the white that's in the mocha. This is a brown and chocolate chocolate mocha, but you know, the quality of material on them. Uh, I did the review on my son's pair when I actually did the review on these. So, you know, this is my pair, but um, at the end of the day, this is a beautiful shoe. I have not seen them sitting. I have, I've seen GS sizes randomly restocked, but if you want, if you was looking to get your hands on this and you were thinking about it, I think that's a very good shoe to have. Uh, a lot of people just bypassed it, you know, uh, for, for one reason or another. I threw these shoes in because these are the chocolate, Charles Barkley triple chocolate. Um, this is an incredible shoe. Uh, I've had almost all the Barclays in my lifetime. And uh, this one here has always been my favorite and the low top laker phoenix sun color with the straps uh it's a shoe that they still haven't re-retroed or re-brought out again but this shoe here besides getting into it um is a wonderful shoe to have in your collection that'll last a long time you know and i'm i'm glad that night night gave me ea on on that shoe and that's how i was able to actually get it um here we have the shoe that everyone was saying would be um, the shoe of the year for 23. And I argue with them because, I, you know, the shoe's just starting to go up resale price, resale wise. Um, I think myself, and, you know, this is my own opinion. And, you know, people, you know, you watch my videos. I love one and three. Those are my favorite shoes. And if those are the only shoes I could wear every day of my life, uh, I'm I'm fine with that, but this number three, uh, I would have to 100% say, you know, it's in the running. You know, it's well, well made. Um, besides, the, my problem with this shoe, they had a lot of, lot of quality control issues. Everybody had different patches, different colors, you know, because I think they rushed them. I managed to actually get a good pair of these, you know. I actually got a good pair of them with nothing wrong with them uh, as far as quality control, you know, maybe in the back or whatever, you know, but not sure of the year. You know, I would get it in the top five, definitely in the top five, you know, um, that's, it would definitely make my top five. It is actually in my top five and the shoe I want to give the drum roll for, and I think it's my number one shoe of the year and it 100% facts no hands down, you can argue with me, you can do what you want to do, but this shoe right here is number one, along with the Harito. 
I don't have the Jarrito. I took massive ales on it, but you know, we're gonna go with the SV4. This is my number one shoe of the year because I have it in my hand and I've, I've wore them. Uh, they have been outside, you know, unlike the threes and the ones, none of them have been outside, but they are gonna go. But this shoe here, uh, hands down, um, I would honestly have to say this is the number one shoe of the year with a tie with the Jarritos. And, you know, if I have to really squeeze in any more, maybe uh, Born and Raised, uh, um, you know, you got the um, Doran Becker Air Max, which is an incredible shoe when you get to look at that shoe and see how you can peel everything off and change the nice the patches and everything. Uh, that shoe is 100% is in the running. Uh, but hands down, and I've wore the shoe. Um, the back padding in this shoe feels really, really good. Will you get me on a skateboard? Hell no. I'm not a skateboarder. But I'm glad Nike gave me these EA. I woke up that morning, the EA was sitting there, and I cashed in on it. So, you know, I made them get zero on the Kobe's, but they gave me some really, really good selections. But at the end of the day, it, it's about what you pick uh, to be the number one shoe. You know, it could be a fucking Converse or a New Balance. But at the end of the day, this is my number one shoe of the year. Uh, anybody can argue with me, but hands down, this is number one of the year. Love the ones that love you. Stay in your lane. You'll always be safe. Peace.